We know how bad sugar is for us, but it's not just the heaped teaspoons that we stir into our morning latte. Our next guest has launched a crusade against hidden sugars that she believes made her fat. By researching the amount of sugar that was in so-called healthy processed foods, Amanda Tiffin was able to cut the amount that she consumed and lost 20 kilos in just nine months. Welcome, Amanda. Really nice to have you in the studio. Thank you. So how long did you struggle with your weight? Um, I've never had it under control um, since I was a teenager. Um, I've struggled with weight the whole time. I was always one size, dress size bigger than everybody else my age and it carried through through to my 20s, through to my 30s and I never got it under control until I discovered sugar. So had you tried doing different diets and different yeah, bits and pieces? Yeah, I had tried um, reputable companies and um, I would lose some weight. I was always hungry and then the weight just came straight back on yeah. again and then I tried exercising and the weight really came back on then. There you are then. So the exercise, that's when your weight came back on? Yeah, I went to a school reunion just before I, I think it was six months just before I discovered sugar and I went hard out for three months to um, look as good as I can. And as you do school fire. reunion, you've got to do that. Exactly. I was nicely toned but I was a lot bigger than when I started. So what was your aha moment with sugar? Um, it was watching the Nigel Ladder documentary on sugar about two years ago and at that point I just went, oh my goodness, maybe that's what the problem is. So I went to my cupboards and I had a look in there and I started looking at um, packages and realised there was a lot of sugar in that, low fat goods that I had in my cupboards full of sugar. And I had a look in the fridge and the fridge there was um, low fat, we had low fat milk and low fat yoghurt pumped full of sugar. And then when I started googling fruit, Oh my goodness, there was just sugar everywhere. It's natural sugar, but it is still sugar, isn't it? It is, but, and you know, your body does need sugar to function, so that's why it's less sugar, not no sugar, because I believe you still need carbs, you still need sugar, but you need more fat and more protein. So, yeah, sugar is sugar, regardless of the form that it takes, and too much is still too much. Mm. For years we've been told, though, hadn't we, to go low fat and light on yeah. things, and really, to make them taste good, they were bumping up the sugar content. Exactly, stripping out the fat, bumping up the sugar. So what surprised you the most? Um, well, low fat, the low fat goods, that was really surprising because just branding and advertising had taught me that that was the way to go and it was no wonder I was always bloated and just felt horrible and overweight. Um, so I'm not saying all low fat goods are pumped full of sugar, but there's a lot that are. Um, my second moment was um, this weekend, I actually had a body scan with Body Audit in Christchurch and they went through and they had a look at um, all my, the fat internally, the fat around my organs, around my muscles, okay. my BMI, how everything sat, and it was perfect. They'd never seen a result like it. Wow, so and cutting out, eliminating the sugar. And it's the sort of result that people go to the gym to get, and here I am, I do not exercise because I'm just too busy to do it, and all I did was eat low sugar, uh, low carbs, high fat and high protein, and I achieved the same thing. So just quickly, how do you work out how much sugar it is? If you're looking at the packet, how do you yep. work out what is in there? You've got to take the, the carbohydrate amount, and then there's a sugar amount underneath it. So that carbohydrate amount that's above the sugar includes that sugar amount. So you have to go, say the carbohydrate is five, and the sugar is two. So you'd go carbohydrate less the sugar, is two gra it was two grams of sugar, mm -hmm. and three grams of carbohydrates. Okay, so you can, you can work it out quite yeah. easily. It is hard to get your head around it first, mm. but once you've got it, you've got it. You've just got to separate the sugar out of the carb amount and then you've got your two amount. You're not a dietitian or a nutritionist. You make that very clear with yeah. the book that you've, that you've done. What are you hoping to achieve or what are you help, hoping to get out of this? Nigel Latter changed my life and I will be forever grateful and if I could thank him, I would, for putting on that sugar documentary because that changed my life and that was my big aha, uh -huh. oh my goodness. And it's the easiest thing in the world. I've helped other people do it. And if I can just get that information out to more people, they will succeed as well. Those who want to do it can be healthier and have less weight. But the thing is, you just got to know how, and it's the easiest thing, and I want to give that message out there. Wow. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story with us today, Amanda. Um, and if you'd like to get a copy of Amanda's book, it's been sold in Paper Plus selected bookstores and on the website, alifelesssugar.co.nz. Thanks so much, Amanda.